Hi, boys and girls. So we have math slides again with this math lesson. And I know that's gonna be a little bit weird because math slides have a bunch of communication in them between you and me, and I am one-sided here, and it's just me. So we're gonna pretend, okay? Boys and girls, so I know in school, when we have these math slides, it's all about conversations and me asking questions and you answering them and us having this math discourse. Well, right now we're not together. So when I ask a question, you need to answer it. And I have with me, standing beside me, my youngest daughter. And while she's older than first grade, she's going to pretend to be you and she's going to work with me. So first step is when we see a problem, we have to make sense of the problem. I'm going to read the problem to you. Eight children are on the bus. Five more get on the bus. How many are on the bus? We're not solving the problem yet, right, boys and girls? The first step is we need to figure out what is the problem about. What's the main idea? What's the problem about? Can my youngest child tell us what the problem is about? Sophia, what's the problem about? How many children are on the bus? The problem is about children on a bus, right? Yeah. Okay, so children on a bus. Now, the next thing we need to find out is what are you trying to find out? How many children are on the bus now? We need to find out how many children are on the bus. And the last thing we need to know is what is the important information? What information is important? Sophia, to solve this problem, what is the important information that we need to know? There's eight children on the bus and five more get on. So the number is eight and five, correct? Okay. Very good, Sophia, give me a high five, thank you. All right, Sophia's leaving us now. So let me read this to you again. Eight children are on the bus, five more get on the bus. How many are on the bus now? The problem is about children on the bus. We are trying to find out how many children are on the bus in all, and the important information is our numbers, eight and five. So let's solve the problem. Wherever you are, at home, if you need to get a piece of paper, if you need to use your fingers, however you want, I'm gonna give you a second to solve that problem. See if you can come up with an answer for me, boys and girls. Okay, now I want you to, however you solve that, find another way to solve it. So if you ended up grabbing that eight in the air and you counted up five spaces, now I want you to draw a picture or make tally marks, or I want you to start at five. Find another way to solve that. Solve it another way. Think, how else can I come up with the answer? Ready, go. Okay, so let's take a look at how many children are on the bus. First, we started with eight. I have eight children on the bus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are my eight children. Then I had five more get on the bus. I'm gonna start with my first number eight and I'm gonna count on eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Eight plus five is 13. The way I solved the problem is I counted on. You might not agree with how I did it. You might've done it a different way, but that is how I solved the problem. Today you're going to get a math problem about people getting on a van or bus, it kind of looks like some sort of a vehicle, and you're gonna get to solve it yourself, and then we're gonna figure out how to make 10 to add, boys and girls. You're gonna learn a brand new strategy. I hope you have a great day. Bye.